Welcome to this interactive podcast on the defense technology industry in Maharashtra. I am Suchitra Ayer and today we have with us Mr. Anand Madia, officer on special duty to the Chief Minister of Maharashtra. Mr. Madia has been working in the technology sector for over 2 decades and has a wealth of knowledge and experience to share with us. A welcome sir. Namaste. Thank you for having me Suchitra ji. So uh, Mr Madia can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you ended up in your current role Sure I have over two decades of experience in the technology sector and I have always been passionate about using my knowledge and expertise to contribute for the betterment of the society I strongly believe that Maharashtra has tremendous potential for growth and becoming a trillion dollar economy I am currently focused on how disruptive technology can contribute to transforming the socio-economic landscape of this state. Wow, that's really great, Mr. Madia. So, uh, according to you, what is the role of the defense technology industry? It's an extremely important industry. It is responsible for creating advanced technologies and systems that are used for the national security purposes. This includes everything from radar system to missiles to new technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning it is an exciting and constantly evolving field that helps keep our country safe yeah that's absolutely right sir uh, maharashtra is an important defense hub too what are some of the major defense facilities in maharashtra sir Maharashtra is home to several important defense facilities including Indian Navy's Western Naval Commands, Indian Air Force's maintenance depots and the National Defense Academy. These facilities are responsible for a variety of functions including training, repair, maintenance and naval operations. Uh, and uh, a lot of private companies are also into defense technology. Uh, what do you feel is their role in the defense industry in maharashtra quite a big one actually there are several private companies in the state that are involved in production of defense related products including lnt and the godrej group these companies have partnerships with defense public sector units and foreign defense companies to manufacture and supply a variety of defense related products they bring in an innovative perspective and diversity in approach when it comes to technology so they play a vital role in maintaining our nation's defense that's so true uh, now let's talk about the defense technology industry in maharashtra how it is contributing to the local economy the latest figures indicate a thriving and successful sector in this region according to the government data the defense industry in the state of maharashtra provides employment directly indirectly for about 50000 people the defense public sector units in the state including bharat electronics limited bharat dynamics limited have also made significant contributions to the state economy in the fiscal year of 2021 bel and bdl generated a turnover of nearly 10000 crore rupees which is approximately 1.3 billion us dollars making them among the top defense public sector units in the country wow that's really uh, promising uh, uh, mr madia what are some potential areas of growth for the defense technology industry in maharashtra one potential area for growth for the defense technology industry in maharashtra is the development of artificial intelligence and machine learning technologies these technologies have the potential to transform the way military operates from enabling the deployment of autonomous systems and drones to improving intelligence gathering and analysis another possible area of growth is the development of advanced materials and manufacturing technologies this could lead to production of lighter stronger and more durable defense products Finally the defense technology industry in Maharashtra may also see growth in export market as the state has a strong reputation for producing high quality defense products Thank you Mr Madia for joining us the chat on defense tech was really insightful 